fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hardy high old silver, the Lone Ranger. Western United States, the hill country with its canyons and hidden valleys offered perfect protection to outlaws. Some of the bands made permanent headquarters there, secure from the law, but close enough to the ranches on the plains to raid them at will. It was not until the Lone Ranger started his great fight for justice that these outlaws were driven from their hideouts and a new dawn of peace was brought to the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of a great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come along, Silver. We're heading for the mountain. There's going to be trouble. Hi, old Silver. Away! A solitary horseman urged his mount up the steep trail above Crystal Falls. At last he reached the summit of the ridge and turned in his saddle to look back at Mustang Mag's ranch, a tiny dot on the great expanse of plain below. The son of silver. What Dan won't give to find out where he is. Come on, boys, down trail now to camp. We're gonna burn the wind. Get up there! The rider raced down the Rocky Mountain Trail. He rounded a turn at breakneck speed, and then another valley lay before him. Another valley and another ranch, complete with ranch house, bunkhouse, corral, and herds of white-faced cattle grazing on the high meadows. Dan Brogan's outlaw spread. Fifteen minutes more of hard riding, and the scout was reporting to Dan himself. You can take my word for it, Dan. It's the same colt we saw up here a month ago. White, with a black star. That's him. He's on Mustang Mag's ranch. Yeah, that's what you said. But how'd he get there? The story in town is that he's the son of Silver. Of Silver? The Lone Ranger's horse. We might have guessed it. Yeah, and folks that have seen the two of them together say there's no doubt of it. How'd he get to Mustang Mags? It was Silver himself that led him down from the mountains. The Lone Ranger gave him to old Missouri to keep him. Oh, that's bad. Well, what's bad about it? I still want that cold, Eddie. But I don't want to tangle with a mask man. We've built up a great outfit here in the hills by not taking chances. You won't have to, boss. The masked man's gone away. Huh? He left the ranch about a week ago, and there's no telling when he'll be back. There's only Missouri and Mags Cowhand standing in your way. You sure of that? Absolutely. Won't amount to any more than one of our regular raids. We won't be taking as much of a chance, Dan. Just one horse to get away with. We'll take all the boys, Eddie. All of them? They'll be needed. That coat's sure to be kept in the corral near the ranch house. That's right. I saw him. It means a fight. But I don't mind dodging lead to get that coat. He's worth a fortune. Yeah. We'll head for the valley tonight. <laughs> That night, Dan Brogan led his men down from the mountains. The thought of a colt could match the mighty silver, the legend of the West, urged him on. But when the level plain was reached, 
he held his mount to a slow gallop, always on the alert for a lone cow hand that might warn the ranchers of the gang's approach. He kept to the back trails, however, and they saw no one until they neared Mag's ranch. Then... Hold up, boys. What's the setup, Eddie? Mag lives in the ranch house all by herself. Zuri and the boys in the bunkhouse. Chris, you take a couple of men and keep all the doors to the ranch house covered. Right. Mike, the rest of them will go with you and surround the bunkhouse. Eddie and me will get the colt. If anybody wakes up and starts yelling, open fire. We got you, boss. But don't shoot unless you have to. Everybody understand that? Yeah, we and go to it. We leave our horses at the top of the next rise. Get up, Red. From the rise, the outlaws made their way forward on foot, moving silently as shadows. Dan and Eddie waited until they had taken their positions near the ranch house in the large building where the men slept. Then they started toward the corral. There's the corral. Yeah, not a sign of life anywhere. The colt's awake. See him? Where? Looking over the fence. Oh, he's a beauty, boss. And it's going to be a lot easier to catch him inside a corral than it was in the mountains. He's sure to make some noise when I rope him. The boys are all set. Lift the bars. Yeah, whoa, boy. Whoa. <laughs> Stay right here at the opening. Try to get him on your first throw, boss. You ever see me miss? That colt can move. He don't know what a rope is yet. Watch this. <laughs> you see? He don't know what to make of it. But he's just standing there. We'll take it easy snubbing him to my saddle horn. That's it, boy. Nothing to be afraid of. He's bracing his feet. Not for long, he won't. I'll show him who's boss. <laughs> What's going on out there? That came from the bunkhouse. Mag's awake, too. There's somebody down at the corral. Out of your blankets, men. There's rustlers after the coat. Crowd him this way. Crowd him. It's going to take the two of us to drag him out of here. Get these other horses out of the corral so they can't follow us. Hurry up. Can I use my gun? Don't matter now. The boys have opened fire. Get along there. Get out. Move, you mavericks. Move. Come on. Help me with him. Crowd him. He's trying to follow the others. Right. He's got more strength than any two-year-old I ever saw. Hey, he's dragging you right out of the corral. Crowd him. Yeah, come on there, boy. Come on in there. In, come on in, in there, boy. That's it. That's it. Come on You're in. going the other way, you ordinary coyote. Yeah, it's all right. You show them who's boss. We can lead him now. He's glad to go anywhere after away from that shooting. Dan. What's the matter? Somebody's running this way from the bunkhouse. One of our boys. Let go of that coat, you crook. Let go of the old coat. Let him have it. <laughs> Two weeks later, the Lone Ranger and Tonto raced into the valley from the east. And as the familiar buildings came into sight, the great horse Silver increased his speed. He flashed by the corral and clattered to a stop in front of the ranch house with Scout just behind him. Well, Silver, you were certainly anxious to get here, weren't you? Uh, him want to see cold. I thought he'd be in the corral. They're taking a chance if he's out on the range. Mm, that's right. Cold hasn't had time to accept the ranch as his home. We might head back for the mountains. You tell Missouri that before we leave. Mass man. Good morning. How are ye? Oh, I've been dreading the day when you come back. You what? You're just as welcome as you've ever been, but I don't know how I'm going to tell you. Has something happened? Come on inside. You can see for yourself. We noticed that the cold was in the... Mass man. Missouri, you've been hurt. Uh, just a scratch. I'll be back in the saddle tomorrow. He's been laid up for two weeks. That don't matter none. It was a gang of outlaws raided the ranch in the middle of the night. Boys put up a good fight. But they got the colt. Yeah. And they turned out all the other horses in the corral so we couldn't follow them. Not for a while, anyhow. You must have seen which way they headed. I was too busy taking care of Missouri. They had a painted old goat. No, man. He run straight from the bunkhouse to the corral. No cover, nothing. Just made himself a fancy target for them crooks. All I could think of was a colt. We failed you, masked man. I gave him to you. Not the way Mag and me figure. We were just sort of holding him in trust. Sweetest little animal in the West. Missouri's right, we failed you. I could kick myself for letting those crooks get him. You said not for a while, Mag. Then the boys did follow them eventually? Sure. 
A trail led to the mountains. After that, there wasn't nothing to go by. You know what the mountain trails are like. Yes. Next day, we got hold of the marshal, and he got a posse together. It was up in the hills for a whole week. Mm Mm-hmm. And they didn't pick up any clues? Oh, none at all. There's a thousand canyons up there, and maybe just as many hidden valleys where that gang could hide out. It'd take an army to find them. Crook leaves some trail, maybe. No, they didn't. Perhaps none the posse could find, but Tonto might have better luck. Ah. You mean you're going up there, Mask Man? Of course. Alone? At first. We'll be back if we need help. But if you find them, they'll be just you and Tonto. There's 20 of them. The more there are, the easier it will be to locate their hideout. We'll start right away, Tonto. Not good. One of your men can show us where the trail was lost, Mag. Sure thing, and... Uh, oh, Mask Man, bring the little fella back. I heard him whinny. It was like a call for help. He's got a spirit like Silver's. Those hombres will try to break it. Yes, we won't waste any time. Let's go, Tonto. <laughs> The Lone Ranger and Tonto headed for the mountains. But even the Indian's unerring instinct was unable to pick up the trail over two weeks old. He refused to admit defeat, however. And as day followed day, he found a sign here and another there that brought them closer to their goal. At the outlaw ranch, Dan had decided that it was time to break the Son of Silver and announced that he would handle the process himself. All the other horses were taken out of the corral near the ranch house. Dan wore heavily rolled spurs and carried an ugly short whip in his hand. Well, boys, you got the saddle and bridle? All the other horses out of the corral? Yeah, we roped off another one at the south end of the valley. Ropes? That reminds me. We got plenty of them. And come on, I'll show you how a horse should be broke. Hey, you don't aim to do it all today, do you? Why not? You'll be lucky to get a saddle on him the first day, that's why not. Never seen me break a horse, have you? No, but that's I don't waste any time with him. These wranglers that talk about breaking a horse gentle are yellow. I say tie him up till you got the saddle on and climb on you board. You ought to give him time to get used to the saddle. Now we're going to get a bit between his teeth until he's all broken. Hey, you aren't yellow, are you, Eddie? I'm talking sense. So am I. Your sister might work with a plug, but not with a coat like this. Show him who's boss. That's my motto. Rope him. Hog time, you have to. I'll get the saddle on. Put this hack more bridle on him. You'll have a crazy horse on your hands. He won't be crazy for long. Once I'm in that saddle, I'll rip him wide open with my spurs and beat him with my quirt. He'll kill you. <laughs> in 15 minutes, I'll have him yell an uncle. I'll bet you $100 you don't. All right, you're on. Any of the rest of you want some of that? No, I don't know. No, no, they've seen me work. He really gives it to him, Eddie. If they don't give up, he kills him. Well, that only happened once. Well, if you don't mind, Dan, I'm staying on the sidelines. Sure. I don't want anybody that's betting against me spoiling my play. There he is. Drop the saddle and bridle over the fence. Right here. We'll get him trotting up to us. He ain't afraid of nothing. He will be. Uh, what's he nuzzling you for, Eddie? Well, uh, I gave him some sugar yesterday. Maybe he's looking for more. You fool. Inside the corral, boys. Drop a rope over his neck first and tie it to the snubbing post. You're asking for trouble. Ah, shut up. Follow me, boys. Watch that gate so you don't make a break for it. We'll close it just as soon as we're all inside. All right, get it. You know something, Dan? What? Maybe you'll win. If you do, I won't mind losing the hundred dollars. Not much. But if you break that colt your way, you'll break his heart. He'll never be any good again. Not to anybody but me. You'll make him an outlaw killer. Is that the idea? He won't try any of his tricks with his boss. It's wrong. There's nothing you can do to stop it. I only wish I'd never told you where you could find him. Ah, you're yellow. All right, boys, give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Dan Brogan ordered the gallant colt to be saddled. Then he watched his orders carried out with the help of ropes and the combined strength of six men. When they had finished, he walked toward them with a sneer on his lips. <laughs> now you got him standing nice. Nice, boys. If we cut those ropes and let him go, he'll go off like a king of blessing, pal. Not with me in his back. All right, hold him. No trap, boys. Just let him loose today with the saddle on. Tomorrow you can ride him. I got a bet to win. I'll pay you the hundred if you don't ride him today. <laughs> then I'm telling you. You heard me. This coyote is just the kind I like to tame. <laughs> now, cut those ropes and let him go. I'll do it, boys. Get out of the way. Over the fence. Take it easy, young fella. You too, Eddie. Hurry up. Yeah. <laughs> Here, Chris, I'll give you a hand. Get up. I thought you said this was a keg of blasting power. Well, what's Just the... standing there, trembling. I want to fight for my money. Don't use your spurs. I'll show him. There he goes. Look at him, Buck. He's bending double. Yeah. Don't even touch the ground. I knew what I was talking about. If Dan stays out, he'll ruin that horse. He's beating him around the head. Look! What? The saddle girth is ripping. That last sunfish did it. Well, he couldn't have. You can see for yourself. It'll give away. Good. Dan, jump! The saddle's going. Let him work. Look out! Oh, no. He's down. There goes the cold for the far side of the fence. Get down, boys. Jump to clean as a whistle. I'm all right. Just twisting my ankle. Get in your horses and bring that cold back. He's gone, Dan. You'll never see him again. A thousand dollars to the man who brings him back. I'll break him or kill him. That night, the Lone Ranger and Tonto made their camp on the banks of a mountain spring. A grove of pines gave them cover and firewood. And after their evening meal, they made their beds on pine balls. It was nearly one o'clock with a full moon riding high in the sky when Silver became restless. The first stamp of his hoofs woke the masked man, and he turned to watch the great white stallion as he lifted his head into the breeze. Tonto. Uh -huh. There's something wrong. Hunter here, Silver. What is it, boy? He's looking up toward that ridge. Matt Echo? No, Tonto. I see him now. It's a cold. Ah. Huh? Him get away from outlaw. Yes, but he isn't coming any closer. Why, he knows Silver. Why should like he be afraid of us? Look like him wear bridle. You're right. They've tried to break him. There's no telling how. Outlaw make him afraid of all men. <laughs> yes, yeah, Silver. You're the only one who can bring him back to us. Uh, go after him, boy. Bring him back. <laughs> Silver started out of the camp, the colt disappeared. And 15 minutes later, the stallion followed him over the ridge, a last gleam of moonlight silvering his mane. Two days passed. At noon on the 3rd, Chris headed up the outlaw valley from the south. He urged his Mustang on with spurs and whip and finally clattered to a stop in front of the ranch house. <laughs> Dan, where are you? Get in here. I just really get my breath and I'll tell you. you. Find the coat? I didn't catch him, but I... What's the matter with you, hombres? It's been three days since he got away. I offer a thousand dollars to the man who brings him back and you can't even find a trace of him. Maybe they feel like I do. Yeah? How's that? I wouldn't bring him back to you for five thousand. Yeah? You listen to me? Out with it. I'll settle with you later, Eddie. I saw the coat, Dan. You did? Where? I'm well enough to ride now. We'll go after him. Wait, the there's more to it than that. There's a big white stallion running with a coat. And I'll bet my bottom dollar is the Lone Ranger Silver. Huh? It's got to be. Does that mean the masked man's around here? No, nah, there wasn't a sign of man for miles. The two horses were running free. It means something's happened to the masked man. If you can catch his horse, he's yours. Good. I figured it all out on the way back here. We're up on Lone Pine Ridge. There's only one canyon that runs from there down the stream. Yeah? We can build a trap in the canyon this afternoon. And when they head for water tonight, we'll... Yeah, I get it. A fence clear across the canyon. Well, it narrows down. Then we'll take cover near the opening of the canyon. And wait till they get inside. Then close in on them. Chris, if this works, I'll double your bonus. You, uh, you can count me out. Oh, you again, huh? I don't want any part of it. Still yellow. 
You've only been with us a few weeks, Eddie. But I'm beginning to think that's long enough. I decided that for myself already. You're covered. Hey, what the... Don't any of you move. I'm taking your horse, Chris, and I'm getting out of here. Heading for the sheriff? You don't have to worry about that. There's just one reason I'm clearing out. I don't like the way you break horses. I can break men the same way. Not me. Steady, gents. Hold it. Not a move. Watch out, Chris. That was a warning. Adios! Get up there, Cap! Get up! All right, let him have it! Oh. Here it comes! Eddie knew that his life depended on the speed of his borrowed mount. And when at last he was out of range of the outlaw bullets, he breathed a sigh of relief. But a determination to spoil Dan's plan had been growing in him. And he headed for the ridge Chris had described. When he reached it... Lone Pine Ridge. I don't see any sign of him yet. But I'll drive him through that canyon before they get their trap built. Dan isn't going to get another chance at that cold if I can stop it. Wait up. What the... Up high with him or I shoot. Come here, man. Must be the Lone Ranger. Who are you? Eddie Grayson. But never mind about me. Say, that Silver you're riding. Chris must have been wrong. About what? He told him that Silver and the Colt were running free up here. They were an hour ago. Where's the Colt now? The gang's after him. They're going to build a trap in the canyon and try... Call your son, boy. There he is. Get him out of these mountains. You don't have to use that canyon that leads to the stream. There's another one farther to the north. Just a moment, Eddie. I had an idea you belonged to the gang. Yes, yes, I did for a while. You can take me into the law if you want to, Masked Man. We but... can let that wait. I'd like to hear more about the trap they're setting. You you aren't going to try and round them up all by yourself. Otto's bringing a posse from town. I'll be here by nightfall. Do you know where the gang's hideout is? We do. You'll have a tough time smoking them out. It wouldn't be so hard in the canyon if we took them by surprise. See, si. You could help us, Eddie. And that would mean helping yourself. All you want to know is what they plan to do, huh? That's all. Well, I got no obligation to Dan. They tried to kill me when I rode away. I'm with you all the way, masked man. Good. We'll see if we can use their own trap to catch them. Hi, Kimasami. Hi. Howdy, masked man. Hello, Missouri. I'm glad you're better. Brought the marshal with you? Yep, I thought I'd need a little help. Marshal Cotter, meet the Lone Ranger. I'm glad to meet you, sir. Thank you, Marshal. Oh, I see you got the colt. They didn't hurt him, did they? Yeah, he's got a couple of welts on his neck, but they'll heal up. This is Eddie Grayson. He used to belong to the gang, but now he's on our side. Uh-huh. When do we go after him? When it gets dark. I'll have to ride scout tonight, Tonto. Ah. Uh-huh. You'll stay here with Silver and the colt. Now, here's our plan. Boys far enough back, Chris? Yeah, but they can't see the opening of the canyon. We'll have to give them the word. No matter how much noise we make after the stallion and the coat are inside it, the more noise, the better. Sure, drive them more into the trap. There's no chance of either one of them jumping that fence. Ten feet high if it's an inch. We'll have to close in fast, though. That stallion can knock it down. We'll be right on their heels. Here they come, down the ridge. Into your saddle. <laughs> They're past the opening. Come on. Come on, boys. Follow Dan. Whoop it up. <laughs> Get him, Dan. They're flying. Never saw a sight like it in my life. When I get my hands on that coat, I'll never be able to catch him if it wasn't for the fence. It'll stop him. How far is it? Just around the bend. Come on, boys. Ready with your ropes. Hey, Chris. What's the matter? They're going straight through. The fence is down. That's Eddie's work. We'll catch him anyway. After him, man. After him. Come on. Come on. Good work, Silver. Get the coal up on the bank. Are the marshal's men all set, Missouri? Yep. They're up on the bank, half a mile farther down. Follow me as soon as the gang gets past us. Hey, here they come. After them. Follow the masked man! 
Come on, get up there, Captain. Hey! What happened? The marshal's taking the whole gang back to town. What him say about Eddie? Eddie will get another chance. Uh, you can put your saddle on Scout now. I changed over to Silver down below. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed the young feller, masked man? He sure sticks close to his pappy. You can't blame him after the way he's been treated. That Dan ought to be strung out. He'll go to jail for a long time. And then, well, we'll try to make the colt forget what's happened up here. Yeah. Ready, Tonto? Huh? You're going back home, young fella. Come on, boy. Get back. Get off. Let's go. Well, so. Uh, just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.